In other news, Taraba State's Ministry for Women Affairs and Child Development has flagged up a sensitization campaign to return out of school girls back to the classroom across uh, the three geopolitical zones of the state. The Commissioner for the Ministry, Mary St. John, who flagged up the exercise in Wukari and uh, Gaso local government areas of the state, has uh, a lot to stay. Uh, we have our correspondents there, Ulabi Adonisi, uh, filing in this report. Data released in 2022 by UNESCO shows that approximately 20 million Nigerians of its approximately 200 million population are not enrolled in school. This amounts to 20% of Nigeria's entire population and is more than the overall population of some countries in Africa. Taraba is one of the states with the highest number of out-of-school children. That is why Governor Agbukefas declared free education from primary to secondary schools. Adolescent girls in rural Taraba state form a large number of out-of-school children due to various factors ranging from unwanted pregnancies, early marriage, managing the home front to cases of abuse. The state Ministry of Education has taken the awareness campaign to the three senatorial districts of the state. The commissioner called on families and communities to give adolescent and adult women a second chance at the free and subsidized education policy while emphasizing on the need to expose cases of gender-based violence. The campaign is aimed to unite communities and families and also eliminate all forms of gender-based violence and bring all perpetrators to book. Once this is achieved, it will ensure a better life for women and children. We have those teachers that beat students because either they do not do their homework or do not pay school fees. It is a form of violence. We have the one that the teacher will, without your consent, touch you at places that are not appropriate. It's a form of violence. The chairman of Wukari and the legislator representing Wukari II in the House of Assembly promised to take care of 18-year-old Salama Ajia, who has dreams of becoming a lawyer. I finished my secondary school in private school. I wanted to study law in my university, but the people around have been, have been discouraging me that it's too expensive, that my parents cannot take care of it. Education is compulsory. Education is accessible to all, irrespective of who you are, by segregation. Let everybody go to school. That is UBE law. With the sensitization campaign on gender-based violence and restoration of hope for out-of-school adolescent girls, across the three senatorial districts of Taraba State, it is expected that it will reposition as it desires to turn the tide in reducing the number of out-of-school children.